<laughs> Praise the Lord. Good morning, Derek. They will pray for America and time spent with the word. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for being God and God all by yourself. Thank you that you are the great I am that I am. Thank you that there is no one compared to you. Thank you that you are Alpha Omega, beginning the ending, the first to end the last. Thank you, Father God. We give you praise, glory, and honor as we come pray for America this morning. I bless your name because I am reminded of your word that tells us he who sits in the heavens sees the plans of the wicked and he laughs. Father, give us the grace, <laughs> hallelujah, to laugh, Father God, in the face of trouble, in the face of calamity, in the face of foolishness because God, we know this one thing's for sure. Our God will show up. Hallelujah. And when he shows up, when he moves, hallelujah, the earth will shake. Aha! As we are even feeling the earthquake right here in our own state. Father, we thank you because you said once again, I will shake the heavens and I will shake the earth and everything that can be shaken shall and will be shaken. And Abba, we vow to give nobody the praise, glory, and honor, but you because you deserve it all. In Jesus Christ, most holy name, amen. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Is that right? Weeping may endure for the night, but my Bible tells me that joy comes in the morning. Every morning, it is the day the Lord, hallelujah, giving us the grace to see. We ought to be excited. We ought to rejoice and be glad in you. But you don't understand all the things that I'm facing. That's even the more reason to bless him, to thank him. The Bible says, oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. He's a good God and his mercy endures forever. Oh my Lord, my God, I feel the fire of the Holy Ghost even now. Let's go ahead and read the scriptures and pray over our country. Amen. John 18, starting at verse number 22. The scripture says, then one of the temple guards standing nearby slapped Jesus across the face. Oh my God. The man who slapped Jesus across the face. Oh my Lord, my God. When that day comes and we are all gathered together to see the Lord, I would love to see the man who had the boldness and the audacity to slap our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the face. But thank you, God, that he took the slap. He took the beating. He took the piercing. He took the sparing. My God, in Jesus' name, he took the crown of thorns. Thanks be to God, he took it all. Hallelujah. He took it all for you and he took it all for me. Thank God Jesus took a slap for me. Amen. Woo, glory to God. This is why nobody can slap us. Why? Because our Jesus took the slap. Mm. Ooh, I'm telling you, I'm happy this morning. I'm excited. Glory to God. It's is that the way to answer the high priest? That's what the man said who slapped Jesus. He demanded, is this the way you answer the high priest? Now watch this. Jesus replied, Ooh, he's a good savior. If I said anything wrong, you must prove it. But if I am speaking the truth, <laughs> Why are you beating me? <laughs> oh my God, glory to God today. Jesus said, he looked at the man who slapped him and said, if I said anything wrong, prove it. And simply because I'm speaking the truth, why are you beating me? You see, we shall know the truth and the truth will set us free. America will come to know truth, my God. Truth in our government, truth in our churches, truth in our schools, come on, truth in our workplaces. The truth, 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 rivers of truth will flood this country and God gets the glory out of it all. Aren't you glad Jesus took the beating? 
Aren't you glad Jesus took the slapping? Aren't you glad they took the spear and pierced him in his side? Water and blood came out just for you and just for me. I'm glad this morning and I'm encouraged. Let's pray for America. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we lift up our hands towards heaven this morning. And Father, we give you thanks and praise for the ultimate sacrifice of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God, that Jesus has shown us the way to behave, the way to act, and the way, God, to conduct ourselves, even when man literally try to slap us in the face. <laughs> Glory to God. Help us, Father God. Give us the grace we need in America as your church, as your body to speak the truth and keep on speaking the truth because we, the people, will come to know the truth and the truth will set us free. Now, Father, as we go forth today, we thank you. We ask that you, oh God, the angel of the Lord, will encamp around us, that you, O oh God, would allow the angel of the Lord, like a chaff in the wind, cause the angel of the Lord to chase our enemies away. Because your word tells us, Father God, that, Father, the wicked are running and no one is chasing them. <laughs> Glory to God. Yet the righteous are standing firm, bold like lions. Give us the grace to be bold like lions today. And as we go forth, knowing that it is the lion of the tribe of Judah who is backing us. So lion of the tribe of Judah, roll on our behalf today. Woo, glory to God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and cause America to see that it is you who are God and beside you. There is no other. And when you seal a thing, it is sealed. When you open a thing, it is open. When you approve, it is a done deal. And when you disapprove, it is a done deal. And we'll be so careful to give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. The Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and may be strong in the Lord, in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God. Because in this dispensation, standing we must, and having done all to stand, we must, and I say we must, it is imperative, it is paramount that we stand for that which is just and right in the sight of God. Because we have one person to please, and that is God Almighty. And we are not ashamed, my God, to say that Jesus Christ is Lord and he is our Savior. Well, until the next time, God bless America. Shalom.